Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. In this week's video, I want to show you how you can fix underexposed or darker images inside Omron Photo Raw 2019. So to get started here, I have this relatively underexposed photo of Tilikum Crossing. And I actually didn't mean to make it this dark or underexposed. It was kind of a mistake of my own. I looked through the LCD on my camera and it looked brighter than it is. So when I came back to edit it, it was a lot darker than I had originally expected it to be. But no fear, I can go in and I can pull out all of those darker shadowy details all while using the tone and color pane inside On One Photo Raw 2019. And don't worry if you underexpose your image just a little. If anything, underexposing is a great way to recover highlight detail. It's really easy to pull out on shadowy or dark details on your photo, but it's really hard to recover blown out areas. So underexposing can actually help you in the long run. So let's say you have an underexposed image like this. Well, the first thing I would recommend doing is pulling up on your exposure slider to bring out some of the highlight details within your photo. So what I like to do is I'll head over to my tone and color pane here and I'll pull up on the exposure slider just enough to pull out some of that highlight detail within my photo. So I'm exposing basically for this area right here. So this white area isn't completely blown out. We still have some detail in there. And once that's about the brightness I want it, now I'll go down and I'll pull up on my shadow slider here. Pull up on it quite a bit there, right about like that. And this is a common mistake that a lot of people make whenever they're pulling up on the darker areas in a photo, is they'll head down to the shadow slider here and they'll pull up on it and they'll leave it just like this. And that's completely fine, but I would recommend going back and adding in some contrast or true black into your photo to make the photo pop a little bit more. As you can see in this shot here with the shadows pulled up, it's a little bit flat and nothing is really popping out or coming to life. So what I do is if I pull up on the shadow slider quite a bit, I'll always go back into my contrast and add just a little bit of contrast into my photo. And then I'll head down to my black slider I'll hold down the J key and I'll add just a tiny bit of true black, about right there. Now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, you'll see we've done a really good job of pulling out that dark shadowy detail, but we've also maintained a lot of the highlights within our photo. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna modify the color a little bit. Since we started with a pretty dark shot and we pulled out on a lot of those shadowy tones, we're going to have either a really cold photo or a really warm photo. And this photo is looking pretty warm. So I'll head down to my color here and I'll just pull back on the temperature slider a little bit. Probably about right there. So now we've set the basic tone and color for our shot. We've brought out some of the shadowy areas in the photo, we've maintained our highlights, and we've also cooled down our photo a little bit. The next thing I want to deal with is the noise. Whenever you're pulling up on dark, shadowy areas in a photo, you're more often than not going to have some sort of noise in your image. So what we can do to fix that is we'll head into the Effects tab here, we'll add a filter, and we'll just add a noise reduction filter. And I'm just going to use the strong preset style. And now if I zoom in here, and I turn this off and on, You'll see it does a great job of removing a lot of that noise from the darker areas in my photo. And I really like how that looks on the shadowy areas in my shot because that's where a lot of the noise was. But I don't like how that looks on this bridge area here and on the reflection in the water. It kind of sucks out a lot of the detail and muffles up the sharpness of the actual image. And I'm just going to grab my masking brush by hitting B on my keyboard. And it's set to paint out. So now I'm just going to roughly paint out that noise reduction from my bridge area and on the reflection of it in the water. There we go. Now it's only being applied to these darker areas in my photo. So let's add one more filter here and let's actually add a sharpening filter. And I don't want the sharpening applied to this area up here where we want the noise reduction because it'll kind of cancel each other out. So we can go down into our noise reduction filter 
we'll copy that mask that we made. We'll go into our sharpening filter here. We'll go into the masking options and we'll just paste that mask. But since we want it applied to the opposite area, we'll just go in and we'll invert it. Now if we turn this off and on, you'll see it does a really good job of sharpening up these nice highlight areas on our bridge and in the reflection in the water. We've done a really good job of pulling out all of those dark shadowy details in our photo, all while maintaining the highlight detail as well. So that's how to fix underexposed or darker images inside On1 Photo Raw 2019. I'm Dylan with On1 and thanks for watching.